So we'll see how shaky this is. I'm going up this road right now. There's a privy. I can't see that. The camera all foggy. Huh. You see that? There's like a mountain house up here. I'm trying to make some miles a day because I'm trying to make it to my next shelter, but sometimes these things are pretty cool to go check out. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but I'm sure there's a sign up here that'll say what it is. It's probably a fire lookout. Sorry, I'm uh, not doing the best as far as uh, filming because it's so shaky. Ooh. What does this say? Why a bald favorite place for a fabulous view? The Appalachian and Barman Trails. Yeah, it's like a fire lookout. Oh, it used to be bigger with windows. Look at that. Uh, Appalachian Trail originated concept proposed in 1921 was to preserve Appalachian Crest by developing a great trail traversing its length so to allow the city workers to revitalize themselves and escape the mechanism of modern society. The dream was to create a footpath to, of wander and tranquility. Man, that guy. Yeah, that guy's cool. I was camping back in the day. There's some other folks. Wow. That looks like that was the first one. Oh man, that's some old school. In 18, 1983, the Forest Service reconstructed the upper portion of the popular landmark. Oh, it looks like something happened. Hairline cracks or something. And John. Byron, according to that, April 31, he became the first supervisor for the Nathal Summer, another North National Forest. At the age of 33, the youngest to ever be appointed National Forest Supervisor. He served for supervisor until premature death in 34. Oh, that's a bummer. On Labor Day, 37, approximately 400 people attended the ceremony, dedicating and recently completed the tower. Well, that's cool. Let's go check it out. from up here but Ooh. guys I'm peeling out of this joint it's cold looks like I've been the only one up here huh well, this is a cool little stop let's go see the sign over here real quick too so we got ever-changing view huh pretty awesome all right see you guys
So last night I stayed at Call Springs Gap. And uh, look at this sign. I mean, it's so cold. It was so cold this morning I couldn't film because my, my phone wouldn't turn on. My socks were frozen. Uh, but look at the sunrise. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah. It was cold. It was so cold that my socks and my shoes were frozen tight. All my shoelaces, I rookie move, but all my shoelaces were, I had to use a lighter and try to warm up my my shoelaces, but it is damn cold this morning. I'd assume it's in the single digits for sure. And uh, the bag I bought did not keep me warm. That was super cold. Oh, that probably doesn't help, does it? Uh, anyways, uh, wow, my shoes are still frozen. I got two pairs of socks on and uh, still trying to warm up, but I had to show you guys the sunrise because that is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, all right, Pelico Gap 1.4. I gotta get a picture of this sign because it was so cold. I gotta remember, remember that. So beautiful. Wow.